Once you land that vacation home, or even if you're staying at your own home, you'll likely be grilling at some point. Joining us now is acclaimed chef and restaurateur Michael Lomonaco. He has cooked at places like Le Cirque, 21 Club, Windows on the World, and now he's serving up sizzling dishes at Porterhouse in New York City. And, and welcome um, to the show. Thank I, you. I want to ask you, uh, Michael, you know, one thing that all of us look forward to in the summer is to have some friends over for a barbecue, throwing some steaks on the grill. Oh. But looking at the prices for beef and even chicken, do you think uh, a lot of people just won't spend the money, won't splurge like that? Well, I think that people continue to want to have a great time. So I, I think it's good shopping and good buying that makes it happen. You know, there are so many shopping clubs now that people take advantage of that and use their freezer uh, to, you know, to store the sale items for parties and events. But also, one of the things I always recommend is that there are great buys to be had in other cuts of beef, such as, you know, a good chuck steak, which is great on the grill if you don't overcook it, or other cuts like a skirt steak or hanger steaks you see once in a while. But it's there are so many different other cuts of beef uh, that aren't, you know, it's not the rib steak or the strip steak, but they're equally as satisfying and delicious. And I, I think that that's helping people kind of manage their budget. People are grilling all kinds of different things, uh, Michael, these days. Uh, uh, not the oh. family pet, obviously, but, but they're, they're <laughs> grilling vegetables. And my wife was telling me about grilled watermelon and said it was great. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about the, about the odd things that, that really go well on the grill. Well, you know, this is one of the amazing things is because the outdoor grill has become, I think, the center of home cooking experimentation and creativity. It's fun, it's fast, it's easy, and it's very delicious kind of food to, that, that comes off the grill. So you can put produce, you can make, you can grill greens like romaine lettuce and things like that. People are doing that. They're grilling fruit. They're making grilled desserts that come off the grill, flatbreads. They're making pizzas on their grill. Very, and also with so many grills that have have, you know, sort of cooking, you know, they're so large, you can bring pots and pans out there and make a paella on the grill, mm -hmm. or you can do, yeah, it really, and you get some of the smoky I, flavors. I got to ask you, because this is a debate in our house, <laughs> gas grill or the old-fashioned charcoal, which well, makes the food taste better? Well, I'm a real lover. I Listen, you know, gas grills are fast and easy. You know, they warm up quickly, but I'm a real lover of uh, char charcoal. A hardwood charcoal, you know, not even briquettes. I mean, I really love the hardwood charcoal. It, they can really burn. They give you a really hot fire, which I love for steaks, which I'm a steak guy, so that's something that really matters to me. They give you a hot fire, but they also have some of that smoke. That's what people really want in their food. So well, you know what? If you really, if you have the room, have both. <laughs> if you go to New York and you're a steak guy, go to a Porterhouse. It's a wonderful restaurant, Michael. Thank you. So what is the, the critical utensil that I ought to have if I fancy see myself as a as a real grilling aficionado apart from the grill well, you know, really, I guess there are a couple of basic things, and I'll tell you, the most important thing is keep your grill clean. So you do need a brush. You do need to be able to clean your grill. But I am, you know, I'm a lover of, of tongs. You know, I never tongs. use a fork. I never turn anything with a fork. A fork always pierces. You know, good, heavy tongs. So you have to kind of look for those. The kind that we use in restaurants are very simple, utilitarian, but they are heavy and a good, a good size tongs. So you don't, I mean, that's great for turning all kinds of food because it's really about managing the grill. You know, moving food around is the best way to cook food. Now, and wow. not moving it too often. You know, you have to All let right. it cook. But tongs. That's been, and, and one other thing, a thermometer. That's Check the good temperature. Advice. That's really good advice. You put the thermometer under your tongue. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> okay. So much fun talking go. with you. Thank you so much. Chef Michael Lamonico.